All right. Well, today's date is September 18th, 2017, and the time's about, let's see here, 4 p.m. California time, and I have a good friend, Tim McCade, on the phone. And Tim McCade, he just took the, the live challenge a couple days ago, and and now he's ready to, to, to go forward and partnering up with our program. And Tim, uh, you know, thank you for, for providing this, this time with us. Um, and can you please share with everybody why someone like you with so much experience selling final expense for so many years, why is it that you took the challenge? Yeah, Laura, um, I was just looking for, for an alternate branch. Uh, uh, as you mentioned, I have been selling final expense for years out in the field and it's just looking for a way to maximize my time, uh, try to get you know, to talk to more people, um, and, uh, you know, it, this, this seems like a, a viable option. Uh, wasn't completely convinced at first, but after listening to the phone calls and the live challenge, uh, people seem very receptive to uh, talking on the phone about final expense, and so I'm excited about the opportunity and the, uh, the training and the uh, learning how to, to do this in a professional manner right and let me ask you this tim you know telesales as you know has always been looked upon as a gimmick or something like it's 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 cute right like a toy of some sort but what were certain myths that you know that you had maybe had or misconception that you had going into this and that you were able to really kind of unveil for yourself i mean Making the decision to go with us is a pretty big deal, you know. But what what were kind of the, some of the things at first that you were that you were a little bit nervous about? Well, the big thing is I've always heard from you know people, field agents that telesales don't stick and and the persistency is not there. But uh, as I've seen, you you know you can have as good if not better persistency. Also, when I was in the field. I really didn't have a solid uh, uh, customer service management system, and didn't have the the ability to to always follow up and and track people down. Where this, I feel, is going to give me a lot more time, a lot more ability to to contact people, not just one time or twice, but multiple times. And uh, I believe you know that is a key of you know making more sales by reaching people. Uh, and even the same people multiple times because you don't always get a yes the first, second, or third time. So That's sometimes right. it takes a little bit. It does. And last, Tim, who would you recommend to take a look at this opportunity knowing our uh, really that you would recommend here? I'm sorry, can you hear me? Yeah. What I What I was asking is who would you recommend – to this opportunity or even to the live challenge? Who, who would that person be in your opinion? Um, I would say this, this would be good for anybody who's, uh, whether they've been in the field or whether they uh, just getting into insurance, um, I think this is a, a good opportunity uh, to learn the business. The, the scripting's already there, so you have that to f fall back on. Um, for an experienced agent, uh, it's just really the uh, the systems that y'all have in place, and um, you know the the ability to to get leads and and have people to talk to. Um, I've been on uh, three or four live challenges now, and and every time I, you know, you or the other gentleman I, I did a live challenge with at first, you know, had people to talk to. I mean, I won't say there was a sale made every time, or you know, it's not not a magic bullet but getting to you know talk to somebody and and at least present the product um that's it's huge the name of the game, sometimes right? it's the name yeah. of the game yep and you're right yeah. you know we don't sell every single lead we buy we don't yeah i wish i could say we sold all of the leads we purchased right but it's not the case but we do follow up on every single lead that we purchase. Why? Because we we invested money and time to acquire that lead, right? 
And I think that's what a lot of people fail to see. Wouldn't you agree there, Tim? They, they fail Absolutely. Yeah. Right. You know, looking back over the years, uh, how much I've spent in leads, and and to be honest with you, I didn't have a, a great follow-up plan. I just bought the leads, tried to contact them a couple times by phone. Um, if I couldn't get them by phone, I'd knock on their door a few times. And right. then if I couldn't get them there, I just moved on. But, uh, wow. you know. Yeah, I understand. And and you know a lot of a lot of folks, including myself, it's been something that I've had to work on over the years to improve and better. You know, like I was telling you earlier, you know, the hybrid challenge has been such a success because the agent brings all of that old inventory of leads that they know they didn't go for a second or third contact. And we show them how to capture all that business there. And it's so powerful, Tim, you know, because agents, you know, they don't have a follow up program. And we we not only show them how to use the phone, but we help them set up a strategy in place to go after all that all that leads that has a ton of business. Well, once again, Tim, uh, welcome to the team. Thank you for your time and and, you know, your point of view of the life challenge, like I mentioned to you. We do this so we can bring on the right people. You know, we're not looking to hire anyone. You know, our model is not a MLM model, as you've seen. It truly is a system based on sales and building skill. Would you agree on that? Yes, definitely. And, you know, there's some agents out there that can really, uh, you know, grow their sk- their skills. There's other agents that want to grow or sell insurance by recruiting through MLM models, that's not really our business model. And I think that's something good to emphasize to people that if they decide to come and work here at Secures Telesales, it's really that, work and making sales for you and your family. Now, um, with that said, Tim, I don't want to provide your contact information on this uh, recording, but if anybody w- wanted to talk to you to confirm your witness of the challenge, would you be open to discussing it? If anybody was to contact me, would you be okay with that? Yeah, I'd be fine with that. You know, like uh, like I say, I've only witnessed the challenge so far, and, you know, I'm optimistic about it. And, you know, that's for, well, the viewpoint so far I've had has just been from, from that of, of witnessing a, a challenge and, and and that's why yeah. I said if anybody was to just question what we've said here, you'd be open to it if they were to ask me, correct? That's cool? Yes. All right. Good stuff. All right. Well, once again, Tim, thank you very much for that. And I know a lot of agents out there thank you as well because, you know, people are looking for a good opportunity and they're not looking to waste their time, right? That's what it comes down to. That's it.